Hi, welcome back to the weekend warranty. I'm with my Audi S7 here. A lot of you are asking what was wrong with the last video. Why did I say I failed? Well, when I had it all apart, there was a part on the plate, the valley plate. I looked at it and I said, I need to change that part out and I didn't. That part is this valve right here. It's like an oil, uh, it's called an oil cooling valve. And what it does is it opens, it's actually a fail open, so it's always open, but it closes, I guess. I don't know exactly how it works, but it's got a screen in there. And I saw that screen and looked at it on my other one and didn't realize that it was a screen because it was so clogged up. Well, a month after doing the job, I discovered that my PCS light, I think it's called a PCS light, power control system, uh, it came on, that's the part number right there, for those of you going shopping, anyway, PCS light came on, and I said, I bet you I know what part that is, I bet you I know how that light's on, and somebody on Facebook told me, yeah, you can change that part out without taking the intake and everything off. Well, I tore into it. And I don't know who that was that told me that I can get that out without taking all this apart. But he must have some really small hands. And his engine must be different because... Uh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to change that out without taking all of this stuff back out. I gotta put the nose back in service mode. I gotta take the intake back off, the oil separator. Um, the turbos don't have to come off, I hope. And hopefully I don't have to take the valley plate off. I'm gonna try not to. If I do, I do, and I'll just order new gaskets do the whole thing over again that's a very sad sad moment here but hopefully you guys will learn from my mistakes and do it right the first time if you see something and you're in doubt go ahead and change it i can't i, I can't believe that my gut was right and i apologize for the time uh between videos I will try my best to capture all the footage of this one, put everything down and uh, uh, get it all posted so you guys can watch. I'm learning. I'm helping a guy right now on Facebook. He's taking the oil screen out and I don't mind answering questions. I mean, he's been messaging me and we've been going back and forth and I even video called him at one point to try to help him out and he seems to be on the right track and doing pretty good but uh this car is definitely welcoming me with open arms i've only had it since december it's now july and i have dumped a lot of money into this car which it's all worth it because it's a fun car i enjoy driving it i have a lot more footage coming up there's a a clutch that I need to change out. I'm at the drop transmission. I'm gonna try to cover all of that. Uh, there's an AC vent passenger rear. It's still not operating. I know what's wrong with it. And I know how to fix it, and I will definitely show you how to take the center console out, put it all back together. Uh, there is uh, an oil leak under the car, and it's a type of oil cooler. It's like a metal canister. It's got an O-ring leaking. That's no big deal, but um, I'm going to try my best to cover everything and get y'all more footage weekly like I'm supposed to. Uh, for those of you that have su subscribed, I really appreciate that. If y'all, the ones that haven't, please like and subscribe. And I'm trying to put in a notice at my day job. So not really 
But uh, you guys, uh, good luck to you. I always say, you know, if somebody else can do it, then why can't I? And so far I've saved a lot of money doing all this work myself and learning a lot. Uh, but I'm going to show you all this part number again for this uh, this valve. It doesn't have a name. It's just 079-115-243C. And there it is right there. see if I can get a focus. My screen won't turn on for some reason. There we go. Yeah, there you go. You guys have a good day. Please subscribe, like, comment. If you think I'm doing something wrong, let me know. And I'll try it your way. If it doesn't work, hey, same thing here. Somebody said, oh, you, get, you can do it this way. I really don't see how you can take that valve out without taking the intake off. But I appreciate the input, and it was worth a shot. And if anybody can suggest something, I appreciate it. Have a good day.